Welcome all to this special session on HSWE 2022. So if you are an aspirant who wishes to write HSWE 2022, stay with me for another 10-12 minutes and we will cover 10 questions which are related to the area of environment and ecology in this session. And with this, I would also announce the launch of a special series of sessions, special weekly series of sessions on HSWE specifically general studies. So here is the first question. The format will be very simple. I will display a question to you and then I will follow it up with answers and if I can add value anywhere, I will try to add value. But before that, if you are an HSWE 2022 or 23 aspirant uh, and you have any queries or you have any questions related to preparation, feel free to get in touch with us and these are the QR codes. You can contact us on 9343921347. Just send us a hello message and we will help you. Uh, we'll be very happy to help you. If you're looking for some strategy related inputs, join this channel Pathfinder for me. If you're looking for some content related to mathematics, this is our mathematics channel, Mend Your Math. You can join us on Telegram and WhatsApp on these particular groups. So let's get started. Here is the first question. Which of the following is not a main United Nations body? Your options are World Bank, General Assembly, Security Council and the Secretariat. The correct answer here is the World Bank. World Bank is not a main United Nations body. So which are the six main United Nations body you ought to know? that the main United Nations body are General Assembly. Most of the policy decisions are taken in the General Assembly. Then you have a Security Council which looks after the peace and security of the world. Then you have Trusteeship Council, Economic and Social Council, International Court of Justice and Secretariat. These are the six main organs or six main bodies of the United Nations. World Bank or IMF is not a body. It is a part of the UN system but not one of the six main organs or six mains bodies of United Nations. Next question. The most polluted city in the world today is incidentally uh, Lahore has been one of the most uh, polluted cities in the world but this year one of the surveys that has come out recently has mentioned Bhivadi in Rajasthan as the world's most polluted city and this is based on PM 2.5. So these are basically particulate matter of the size 2.5 mm. So according to this standard or according to this survey by IQ Air, now IQ Air is a Swiss air quality technology company which sells air purifiers and HVACs. So according to this, Bhivadi is the most polluted city of the world today. And unfortunately, there is another piece of information which you should have. 10 of the world's most polluted 15 cities are in India. And Delhi is yet again the world's most polluted capital city. Next question. The highest per capita emitter of carbon dioxide in the world is. Now, this question has already appeared in HSWE, I think, in 2016 or 17. One of these years, this question has appeared. The highest per capita emitter of carbon dioxide in the world is not India, not China, not USA. It is Qatar. And when I say it is the highest per capita emitter, so Qatar emits around 37.5 tons per capita. No, that is the level. India, I think, is around 1.9 tons per capita. Next question. Which community is famous for protecting black bucks in India? This community has been in news very often. And the correct answer here is the Bishnoi community. So Bishnoi community, this was... Uh, started by Sri Guru Jambeshwar in the 15th century. This was a movement and some of the famous 
people from this movement are Amrita Devi in 1730. Uh, she and her daughters laid down her their lives to save trees. When the Maharaja of Jodhpur, he was trying to fell trees. Then ch this community was also in news because the Chipko Andolan, which was basically a forest conservation movement, was started in 1973 by the members of this community. Sundarlal Bahuguna, Gora Devi and Sudesha Devi were the famous people associated with this particular movement. Some other forest movements are Silent Valley Movement in Kerala and Apiko Movement in Shimoga, Karnataka. So remember, Bishnoi community famous for protecting black bucks. Next question. Central India and northeastern states have been deforested or degraded due to shifting cultivation. So basically, what is shifting cultivation? So under shifting cultivation, you first of all identify an area. Then you completely deforest the area, fell all the trees, cultivate or do agriculture for a couple of years and as the fertility of soil degrades, you move to another area and repeat. So this kind of agriculture is known as shifting cultivation. Mixed cultivation means where the farmers will all not only involve themselves in agriculture but also breed livestock. Terrace farming, it is practiced on the slopes. So it's a piece of slope plain that has been cut into a series of successively residing flat, flat surfaces. So they look like, uh, you know, steps on mountains. And this kind of farming is known as terrace farming. Intensive farming uses mechanized agriculture. So use of pesticides and fertilizers is very common. It is also known as industrialized agriculture. Next question. On which day is the Earth Day observed? So the correct answer here is 22nd of April. So the first time Earth Day was observed in 1970 by Gaylord Nelson and it is observed in order to initiate efforts to save our planet from the effects of global warming. So 22nd April the Earth Day is observed. Next we have which of the following is not a primary source of a primary natural greenhouse gas found in our atmosphere. I feel I, I feel water vapor, ozone and carbon dioxide are all found. HFCs, hydrofluorocarbons are not found naturally in the atmosphere because they are produced as a result of human activities. So greenhouse gas, it absorbs radiant energy and captures heat. And it is one of the primary reasons the presence of natural greenhouse gases like water vapor, ozone, carbon dioxide and nitrous oxide is one of the primary reasons why our planet has life or life form. Next, what does the abbreviation IPCC stands for? It stands for Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. So it's a United Nations body whose headquarters is in Geneva. There are 195 member states uh, which are party to the IPCC. And it is it has been established by a World Meteorological Organization. Next question. Bharat stage forms regulate the output of which of the following? So Bharat stage form, they, the norms, they refer to or they apply to motor vehicles. So basically, they regulate the output of air pollutants. And they regulate the output of air pollutants from Compression engine and spark engine, uh, compression ignition and spark ignition engines. And Bharat stage norms are based on European regulations. Currently, BS6 is in force in India. Bharat stage 6 norm is in force in India. Next, which state in India has become the first carbon neutral, home to the first 
कार्बन न्यूट्रल पंचायत इन इंडिया द करेक्ट आंसर इज जम्मू एंड कश्मीर बेसिकली पाली इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर हैज़ बिकम द फर्स्ट कार्बन न्यूट्रल पंचायत देर आर थ्री फोर्टी हाउसेज विच हैव बीन पावर्ड बाई अज सोलर पावर प्लांट विच हैज़ बीन बिल्ट एट द कॉस्ट ऑफ टू पॉइंट सेवन फाइव करोर so with this we reach an end of the first session of the special series for hsw students appearing for hsw 2022 so if you are one of the aspirants please subscribe to our channel and you can expect many more similar sessions or gk sessions on hsw that's all for now thank you